Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wotton Bassett in the UK. The 2022 mintage figures were recently revealed, which shows us how many coins were produced for circulation throughout 2022. It is revealed that some of the coins produced in that year are some of the rarest coins that you might find. So let's have a look into this. Firstly then, what is a mintage figure? When you make a coin, it is called minting the coin because of its Latin roots to the Roman production of coins. So a mintage figure is the total amount of a particular coin that is made. It usually takes a year or two until the Royal Mint makes this information public and we can see what coins are going to be the harder ones to find compared to others. Now we're only looking at circulating mintage figures, those put out to be used in our change. The Royal Mint also produces higher standards of coins for collectors to buy, but that information takes a few more years to be released. And we're only interested in coins that you can actively find in your change for the purpose of this video. So then, we had three new commemorative coins put into our change throughout 2022. All three were 50p's, and most common by quite the margin is this design. It was minted to mark the death of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II a little over a year ago. The reverse or tail side of the coin sees an older design used again for this modern coin. The design was originally created by Edgar Fuller and Cecil Thomas and was used in the design for the crown issued by the Royal Mint to celebrate the Queen's coronation back in 1953. Of course, the date has been changed from the original coin and this is actually worth taking note because there is a lot of nonsense news going around about this coin allegedly being found without a date. The date is carefully hidden on the reverse but you can see either side of the leak representing Wales that the date is right there. So if you do find one in your change then look here and I'm sure you'll find a date. What was groundbreaking about this coin though is on the obverse or head side of the coin. It features the new portrait of King Charles III. It was designed by Martin Jennings and makes this the first coin to circulate featuring our new king's portrait. For the first time in 70 years, we got to see another monarch on the obverse of our coins. It also broke a bit of precedent because previously when we've had a change in monarch, no coins would be minted until the start of the new year with the new monarch on them. Now it was only the memorial range of coins released in 2022 to feature King Charles and all other coins released in that year, some were dated 2023 as well, featured our late queen. So then, where does this coin rank in terms of its rarity? With a grand total of 9.6 million put out into circulation, it is the 62nd rarest circulating commemorative 50p. Out of the 72 we have confirmed mintage figures for, so it sits between Tom Kitten and 2016's Peter Rabbit in terms of value, meaning that over time this coin will become rather common to see. The Platinum Jubilee 50p was also released in 2022. This was produced to celebrate 70 years of Queen Elizabeth II's reign. The design was created by Andrew Ross and Deborah Osborne with a big number 70 to make it really clear that this was for the Platinum Jubilee and totally not to confuse tourists into thinking it was a 70 pence piece. Although I've also heard UK residents talking about the 70p coin too, so hopefully they don't get too confused. This coin features the Queen's fifth and final portrait, which was designed by Jodie Clark. But this is just one of two variants of the coin. There is a second design, which was the work of John Bergdahl, which has a portrait of the Queen on horseback but that was only produced for collectors to buy in packs and not put out into our change, so we won't worry about that one too much. How rare is the Platinum Jubilee 50p coin then? It's the 41st rarest circulating commemorative 50p coin, with 5 million and 70 minted to be put out into our change. So again, one that will become fairly common. The other commemorative coin which was released into our change in 2022 was the Pride 50p. It was designed by Dominique Holmes and celebrates 50 years of pride. The design incorporates the progress flag, an ever-evolving symbol of the LGBTQIA community. You can see the words pride, protest, unity, visibility and equality, which are words that best describe what pride is all about. 
This was also the last circulating commemorative coin to enter our change to feature the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II too. So how rare is it? With 5 million on the dot being minted, it ranks as the 40th rarest circulating 50p. I know they all seem quite common coins so far, but it's the other 2022 releases which make 2022 one of the rarest years on coins to find. We'll look now at the definitive coins. These are designs which don't commemorate anything in particular and get used for a number of years, unlike a commemorative coin. 2022 could be the last year that these definitive coins circulate as we've just seen the announcement of brand new 2023 definitive coins. We'll start with the one pence coin. 2022 is now the rarest year which you will find in your change. For the purposes of this video, we're not taking into account errors or NIFCs, years which were not intended for circulation. We are solely looking at coins that you should expect to find out in change. So only 30 million pennies were minted for use in circulation back in 2022. This is almost half of the previous rarest year, which was 2021. And in third, you'll find 2020. It's rather concerning that the three rarest years are the last three years perhaps showing an eventual decline down to nothing, given that the penny is our smallest denomination with very little spending power nowadays. With many countries around the world ditching their equivalent coins like in Canada, Australia or the Eurozone, perhaps we too shall follow with the loss of some of our smallest coins. We'll look at the two pence coin next. There were no two pence coins struck for our change in 2022, the only way you'll get your hands on one of these is by buying the Royal Mint sets that included one. It does mean though if you find a 2022 two pence coin then it is an NIFC, a coin that shouldn't be in your change and they can hold some value to a collector. There are now 10 different years when the two pence piece was not minted for circulation. How many of those years could you name? On the physically smallest coin in our change, the five pence coin. 2022's 5p is the second rarest circulating definitive 5p out there. With 42.8 million having been produced for use, to lose in pockets, under car seats, or to be gobbled up by washing machines the land over. The only year that produced less for our change was 2021, with 28 million being minted in that year. Once again, the top three rarest years of the five pence piece are the last three years. So is this another coin we might not see minted for that much longer? The 10 pence coin next, 2022's 10p remains in the top five rarest years, ranking fourth overall behind the 2008, 2012 and 2017. With 38 million 2022 10 p's out there to find, it shouldn't be an impossible task to find one. Especially compared to the mintage figures of the A to Z 10 p series, which are disgustingly low by comparison. The 20 pence for 2022 is the only circulated coin not to chart in the top five rarest years, but it still makes it into the top 10, with 42.8 million having been produced for circulation. Although out of the top five rarest years, it still breaks into the top 10, ranked just eighth out of the many years this coin has been produced for our change, which places it between 1989 and the 2015-20p, with the Ian Rank Broadly fourth portrait, as there were two different versions in 2015. The 50p definitive has become the third rarest to circulate behind the 2008 Britannia and the 2017 Shield 50ps, there were 9.5 million minted for circulation, which is a smidge less than the Memorial 50p's that entered circulation in the same year. The one pound coin sees 2022 return to the top spot, making it now the rarest circulating definitive one pound coin, actively out in circulation. With 7.7 .7 million produced compared to 21.7 million minted in 2021, which was previously the rarest circulating year, naturally this is disregarding the old round pound coins as these are no longer used in day-to-day -day transactions. Finally, the two pound coin with the definitive Britannia sees 2022 just about scrape into the top five rarest years. There were just over 4 million of these coins minted for circulation, which makes it more common than some of the old definitive technology £2 coins, but rarer than the 2021's Britannia £2 coin by a 2 million margin. It is of course only the fourth year that the definitive Britannia has been put into circulation though, since the change in design back in 2015. 
In 2017, 18, 19 and 20, there was no demand for more £2 coins. But now we have had two successive years of the coin circulating, so who knows, maybe we'll even see a commemorative £2 coin circulate soon. In a not so very mathematical calculation, where if you take the top five rarest circulating years of each definitive coin and assign points to each, much like in a sporting competition, which agreed isn't my strong suit, with more points assigned, the rarer the coin is, the 2022 definitives score higher than any other year. It just about beats 2008 by one point. I'm sure those with more knowledge and statistics would be able to create a much more rigorous test, but for the less mathematically inclined, this does suggest that 2022 definitive coins are going to be among the rarest overall to come across, as and when they find their way into our change. So there we go, 2022 turned out to be a record breaking or at least very low minted year for the definitive coins that were put into our change. Even if the commemoratives ended up being rather common, we're really excited to see if and how many 2023 definitive coins go into circulation. So it's a great time to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more information when that arises. Let us know in the comments what 2022 coins you've already come across. It'd be fascinating to see how far and wide they're spreading. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post pictures of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok. We have our shop and online store. And I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.